Joining us now is Nami Lynn County Board President Liz Breen. Liz, thanks for joining us here today. Thank you. And today we're talking about the importance of being an advocate for mental health, whether it's for yourself or for a loved one. And you found out some valuable information about what people feel is missing in mental health advocacy. Yeah, so a lot of people, my clients and coworkers, talked about just kind of treating it from the bottom up or from the top down and the bottom up. So. We talked about kind of societal standards and social policies, just taking and creating any opportunity you can just to further the ease of navigating that system. And increasing the value of mental health is something that you found out too and just getting it out there more. Absolutely, like it's so difficult for funding and insurance um, and just kind of life is difficult anyway. Right. So then just making it a little bit easier to um, talk about and access and just kind of creating those opportunities. Absolutely. And what about biases, whether they be implicit, even unknown about mental health that can cause some damage? Yeah, I think it kind of is in the background of a lot of topics that are big and scary. Um, and there's a lot of big themes around it. Um, we really just want to look at the people that are behind those diagnoses. It's not quite as simple as yeah. just this diagnosis means you're going to do these things. Right. Um, and all these behaviors do have like functions and goals just kind of looking beyond that and just challenging ourselves to meet those people and, and see those things. Not put them in boxes and there's always help and cures and ways you can get better. Yeah, yeah. there's always some assistance um, and those labels are sometimes more damaging than they could be, for sure. Absolutely. And what about some classes or treatments or uh, programs people should know about? Yeah, there are a ton in this town. I work at the Abbey Center, so I do a lot of um, mental health outreach there as well, but NAMI does offer family to family classes for loved ones that have mental health struggles. Um, we have connections class for people in recovery, and we also have a lot of public forums just for education and more advocacy. And people can find that information on your website on NAMI. Absolutely. Lincoln. Yeah, and what about self advocacy and speaking up for yourself for your care because it's all about <laughs> your care and getting better at the end of the day? Absolutely. So there are not enough providers. That's true, especially in rural Iowa or rural states. Um, but we do have a lot of assistance as far as trying again. Like if you go to a one therapist, psychiatrist, provider of any kind, it's okay if it's not a positive experience, like going back again and trying to find what's best for you. It's a whole process. Exactly. Absolutely. You want to find somebody who respects you as a person and can do that. All right, Liz, well, thanks so much for joining us here today. Thank you so much. And stay with TV9. We'll be right back.